Hi Sagittarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of December 13th through the 19th, 2021. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are a cross watcher, you might be able to resonate with some of these messages. So guys, uh, this week I'm starting out with pulling you a focus card and so you do have commitment. This can be where you need to put your focus sag or you know this is where your focus is for this week so you could be making a commitment this could be something you're thinking about i would like to say welcome to all of you thank you so much guys for joining me here today if you are not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe also if you could please give this video a thumbs up i would greatly appreciate that I would like to wish all of you guys a very happy birthday. What does Sagittarius have coming up for this week? If you are new to my channel, welcome. I do prefer the jumpers. Okay, so you guys are starting out with the two of coins. What does Sagittarius have coming up for this week? Wow, definitely seeing a commitment. And this this could be in any area. So for some of you, of course, this is on the relationship front. Some of you could be getting married or maybe you're getting engaged. Uh, but others, this definitely can have something to do with a contract. We have the fool. Maybe you have to make a decision uh, in regards to a contract. Let's see, there's the Three of Swords. What does Sagittarius have coming up for this week, Sagittarius? And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Also, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. Okay, we have the, the Seven of Swords, we have the Magician. Cards are just... Okay, there's the Three of Cups. For some of you, this is in the reverse. Take it how it resonates. For some of you, this will be upright. I mean, you could be attending a wedding or some something like that. But for others, uh, this is in the reverse. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. So now we just need an overall energy. What is the overall energy for Sagittarius? We have the wheel. It is sideways. A lot of your cards came out sideways. So you're in that maybe transitional process where the energy is shifting for you. And at the bottom of the deck, we do have the King of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. Maybe some of you have Earth in your chart. I also look at him, um, he can be the married man, he can be the, the businessman, he may be your boss. Let's see. You do have a couple of threes here, so for some of you there could be a situation involving three people, that's not all of you though. For some of you, this may be commitment. This decision that maybe you're making definitely is going to be on the business front for many of you. It also could have something to do with money. We have the Six of Coins. We have the Seven of Wands. And there's the Page of Swords. So this is a very defensive energy. It's a very protective energy. You could be very protective of yourself your money, maybe assets and things like that. Um, but this also could be you maybe very protective of someone around you. Now, for some of you, it could be a child. We have the Page of Swords here. Somebody, somebody may need your help, Sag. You definitely could be hearing from someone. So someone may need your help. Of course, that could be financial. You may be giving someone a loan or vice versa. There's the Queen of Cups. Okay. I 
Maybe some of you feel as though somebody has breadcrumbed you. Um, maybe you want a commitment from this person or if it's business, maybe you want them to agree to something. Uh, maybe negotiate um, some sort of deal or for them to maybe accept some sort of deal, something like that. But this person is very defensive or if this is you, I see you very defensive. So you could be telling someone no. Could be turning something down. But the very first card out was the two of coins. So we do see you thinking about something. I think you're going back and forth. You could be weighing the options. Trying to make a decision now. For some of you, this could be in regards to your marriage or a relationship. Maybe taking a relationship to the next level. But for some of you, thoughts are going round and round. We have the wheel, and it did land sideways. We have the two of coins, we have the wheel. So for some of you that I'm reading for, maybe a cycle has been on repeat, some sort of repeating pattern or cycle. And in order for you to um, stop this or put an end to this uh, repeating pattern, you would, you would have to do something different. And so, um, some of you need to maybe change your mind or uh, do something different, move in a, a different direction, listen to your higher self. There may be someone around you that you don't trust. So it could be this person here. Maybe this is someone that you do business with. Now, for some of you, you could be dealing with... Um, I want to say the the car salesman, you know, that um, that kind of person where someone's trying to get you to do something that they want. Maybe they're trying to get you to um, give them something or buy something. With this energy, you definitely could be dealing with a shady character. So be very careful, especially when it comes to making any sort of deals, arrangements, signing anything. You have the Seven of Swords and the Magician. So this can be the trickster. This can be someone who is hiding something. And so maybe you're doing business with somebody trying to maybe make a deal with this person, but uh, when it comes to any sort of arrangements or if you are signing something, you just wanna be extra careful because the magician and the seven of swords, somebody definitely could be hiding something, trying to get away with something. And if you are purchasing something, any, any large expense and you're committing yourself to something, you just want to be careful. You want to be careful. Some of you definitely may need to ground yourself here at this time. And um, before you maybe take a leap of faith, you do have the fool here. So before you take a chance, we have the wheel of fortune. That's the overall energy. You also have the fool here. So before you commit to something, you definitely want to spend some time alone and go within. And just make sure that this person around you is um, trustworthy. You know, are they your real friend? Because we have the three of cups here. So this could be someone who is jealous. You could be dealing with someone who's maybe jealous. You may have had a falling out with this person in the past. You may feel betrayed by them. They could have said something that hurt your feelings. So there, there may have been a loss of a friendship. This person may be trying to come back around. That could be the uh, 
repeating pattern that some of you are dealing with. Maybe this person keeps coming around. You may be dealing with a stubborn uh, character. Maybe you needed help and this person wouldn't help you. They may just be a friend or maybe um, a business connect and maybe you asked them for help and maybe maybe they breadcrumbed you. Maybe, you know, they were very defensive. Maybe they didn't want to. Maybe come to some sort of deal or if this is financial, maybe they turn you down. With that being said, I think that you have multiple things going on. You're juggling. I think that you have multiple things going on. There's some drama and maybe a loss of a... Um, a business contact or a friendship, something like that. But then I see you moving forward. And for many of you with this energy, you're taking a chance here and you're moving forward down a brand new path. And this could be something you've never done before. You could be committing yourself to this. Some of you are maybe possibly breaking a commitment. Um, and maybe, maybe moving forward with something else. Because this combination, the Hierophant and the Seven of Swords, this is someone who breaks the rules. This is not someone who follows the rules. Uh, two of Coins energy. You definitely could be more flexible here at this time. You, Sag, could be breaking some rules and really not caring with this energy. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing because it's not. There's no judgment here. Um, you know... Someone could have um, used some sort of trickery or manipulation to get what they want. Yeah. Seven of Swords energy can be you having a strategy. It can be you avoiding someone. You may be avoiding um, someone that you feel is a liar or very manipulative. Now, this person may have, we have Taurus here, but also this could be a Virgo, this could be a Gemini. Honestly, any Earth sign, possibly Capricorn. Aries could be dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, possibly an Aquarius, a Leo. But yeah, I see a repeating pattern and I do see you moving forward down a brand new path. But let's pull you an additional guidance card. We do have a full moon here on the 19th. So right at the end of this week, we have um, we have uh, we have a full moon, and you're going to be dealing with some intense energy. And you know, if somebody around you was being a fool, if someone around you was lying, or maybe um, out for themselves, something like that. I mean, you would know by the end of this week. Okay, let's see. I'm going to pull from these for Sagittarius. What is the additional guidance for Sagittarius for this week? Some of you, I feel like you've already learned a lesson here. So this person could be coming back around. Maybe they want you to help them or maybe agree to something, sign something. Let's see what sign you're dealing with. Who is Sagittarius dealing with this week? But what I see here is you need to ground yourself. You need to maybe do some soul searching. But definitely, you know, if you have if you have a big decision to make, if you're looking at a contract or something like that, you definitely may need to maybe get some advice. Take a moment and really look at everything. Who is Sagittarius dealing with? 
You may be the Queen of Cups. We had the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And we also had the Page of Swords, which can be you doing some research. Could be watching someone, but looking into things a little bit further, which I feel like that's what's needed. That's actually, that's a good idea. All right, so we have Scorpio. Some of you may be Scorpio Sag Cuspers, or you may have Scorpio in your chart. Look at that, and Sagittarius. Yeah, so you're coming through. And we have first quarter moon in Capricorn. Unleash your kindest self. So yeah, I mean, someone may be coming to you. They may want your help. Now, if you're choosing to help this person, this is actually a very protective energy here. So maybe someone is naive. You may have a friend, someone around you who's naive. Maybe they just need some help and you're going to be doing the right thing with the Hierophant and maybe protecting this person. Maybe you're going to be kind to this person. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio, but a commitment is significant. So you are manifesting something new. You may definitely break a commitment with a group or a particular person and maybe you're um, moving in a completely different direction, Sag. All right, guys, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you did, please make sure you are subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. All right, guys.